Hey everyone, it's Benny here, and in this video, I'm going to start making a new Minecraft series that it's about how to build a computer. It's based on just pure, basic redstone knowledge. If you know that redstone wire can receive power, and that it gets power from levers and stuff, that's all you need to know. You don't need to know any other complicated stuff. I'm starting from the pure basics. And in this video, I'm going to go over a bit about logic gates. So first off, there's the most basic logic gate, which is the, the NOT gate, or the inverter. Basically, the way this gate works is, this is your input, this is your output. And the output will always be the opposite of whatever your input is. So, see it's just an inverter. As power, not getting anything. As pa not power, I'm getting some power out. It's it's just very basic. It's that's how it works. And actually, I'll just leave a basic version up over here while we go over the next one. Next one is a little more advanced. It takes two inputs, and what this does is it will give you the actually second input goes one more over. Sorry about that. What this does is well, I'm sorry. There's just so many ways to do this. I'm not quite sure how I want to. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll just do the formal gate version, even though it's not necessarily the best way to do it. Okay. Anyway, one second. I'm building it. And failing horribly. It's there. It's a very simple gate. The way this works is you have two inputs, and you have an output. And you'll only get an output if at least one of the inputs is on. So, one input's on, you get an output, none's on now, now you don't get an output. Now one's on, you get an output. None's on, you get no output. And if both of them are on, you're getting an output because at least one is on. So that's the OR gate. I'll go ahead and leave that up. And lastly, we have the AND gate. And this one looks a little more intimidating. I'm sorry that it does, but... So... Let's see, hang on. Forgot to make the output wire. Sorry about that. Okay, so here you have two inputs. Flip one, no output. Flip the offer, no output. And as you may have suspected from the name, you'll only get the output if both outputs are on. So, those are the three basic logic gates. They are pretty, um, they're pretty simple. You can, and they're important because you can build any redstone machine ever out of these. So, when you're in doubt about how to do something, just start putting a few of these down try to think about which one might do what you want and which combination of them might do what you want and you can make any possible component ever out of these so they're pretty important and that's really all you need to know you can end the video here and go on to the next if you're just interested in building it but I'm gonna go over a bit about why these work to show you how it works on a more fundamental level so I'll start with the inverter because it's the most basic the way this works is when you're sending power in it's taking giving power to the block so if I do this again right here, you'll see just giving power to the block. And if I have a torch on a powered block, then that torch will, when a torch receives power, its action is to turn off. So since the block's receiving power, and the torch is on the block, the torch is taking power from the block. And since the torch's action when it receives power is turning off, it turns off. And what that whole complicated redstone underlying function does is it gives us the result that if we're you we aren't giving any power, the block's not powered, so the torch isn't powered. Since torch always gives off power if it's not if the torch isn't receiving power, it then the torch is giving redstone power. Now the block's receiving power, so the torch is receiving power, and when the torch receives power, it turns off. So now there's no power coming from the torch, and that's ultimately how the inverter works. The OR gate. This works similarly to the inverter right here, so there's just has two wires powering the block. And then you just take the inverted power and s effectively invert it again, because when you have wire going over a block, like this, and I'll just then even any torch on any side of the then the wire will give power to the block that's on. So any torch on the side will receive power and effectively turn off. And since we're inverting that Essentially, he basically it's just w it it's just passes the current exactly as it is through through a series of double inversion, 
because if you invert something twice, you get to put the same thing you put in. And the original inverter just has two inputs, and that's the more formal version of the OR gate. The AND gate is in many ways a lot like an OR gate, except it has two inverters on the wire. So uh, you're sending input each input into its own inverter. Both of those inverters are powering a central wire, and since that wire is receiving power, it's powering the block under it, which is inverting the torch. And since the S wire is what's powering the block that's preventing the output, then it will always stay like that unless you invert both inputs, and since that will stop giving power to the wire, and invert, and excuse me, and that will give prevent stop giving power to the block, which causes the torch to turn on since it's no longer receiving power. And that's just a little bit of a deeper look of how they work, and so that's the basics of the e logic gates. In the next video, we'll go over some components you can build out of them, since it's all about the components to make the computer ultimately work. So, thank you. See you in the next video.